Hi guys, it is Denma and I am coming to you with the try on slash review of two items. Hopefully it should be relatively quick. I have been going back and forth whether I wanted to get these items or not for a while now. And I finally decided to go ahead and get them. So, I got a little box like this today, yay, it finally came. Well, it finally came. It only took like a day to get here. Um, but I went ahead and bought Jeffree Star's Beauty Pageant Lip Ammunition and his Dream House Liquid Lipstick. I've been wanting those two shades and I have watched a bunch of different review videos on them. And some, it's like, with Jeffree Star, you have to separate what he did in his past, which he's grown, apologized for, and moved on. But you have to separate him from the business aspect of things. And a lot of people, when they do review his things, they're biased, whether it be good or bad. So I had to weave in between those interview or reviews and finding the ones that are actually fair. Did the product work? Was it splotchy? You know, all that good stuff. So I had, I did see some mixed reviews on the um, liquid lipstick. Yeah, Jelly Bean just uses me as a launching pad, so. Um, but I decided to try it out for myself. I did find out if you order from Beautylish, which is his affiliated site that he, a lot of his UK customers and foreign customers use that if you order $35 or more which is basically any two of his products other than the lip scrubs shipping is free and it's two day shipping by pathetic so I ordered this late Saturday night and I got it today which is Monday Tuesday so I guess it did take two days so but I mean if you go to a site, if you order like a lot, then you'll get free shipping. So just order off of Beautylish. Um, I will link the links down below. They have everything that he has on his site that is still in stock. And like I said, it's a certified like retailer of his. So, so I don't have anything on my lips. I guess I didn't use like a lip scrub, but I have washed them off very well. But there's nothing up there. They're very soft. I don't think they need a scrub. I think that would make them raw. So I think they're ready to go. So let's open this up. I've already um, just undid this part for us. So it comes in a small box because I, like I said, I only ordered two things. I wanted there was a, a royal blue, not a royal blue, but a navy blue color called Abused, I think it was. I really wanted, but I wasn't sure, and it was pushing my order up to like in another eighteen dollars. I don't math and me don't mix, so I was like, eh. and I have like a certain allotment I have in my budget until the end of the month. So I was like, well, next month I'll get it, and maybe I'll get another two and try them out. These work good. Um, but like I said, I've been wanting to try Beauty Pageant for a while because it's the same shade as my lips just about. Just with a whole ton of butter in it. So, alright, let's open this bad boy up. So. Oh. Alright. It says, packaged with love in San Francisco. Packed by G. It might be a curse or curse of us. I can't really tell. But there you go. So thank you, whoever you are, for packaging my package with love. Wasn't that awkward? Oh. Okay, I had heard he had like custom wrapping paper. This is really cool because it's got all of his tattoos on it. It's that's pretty not pretty darn awesome. It's not like wrapped wrapped it's just like wrapped around it's not like encasing it it's because you can you got okay, there's the product and tissue paper but anyway these are his some of his I don't know if they're all his tattoos but 
There's some of them. Anyway, there's the official Beauty Wish Jeffree Star collection sticker. And I think that tiger tattoo is nice. Oh, Wednesday Adams. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And in the bottom, there's my invoice or packing slip. And then there's a nice big cushion of tissue paper. So I'm just going to sit that just like it is back in there. I'll probably just stick it back right in there just like it is and take it right back in the house after I get done testing it. Let's see. I just going to say, it just tells you what you ordered. So here's the package it comes in. It comes in a little, um, I guess it's a little bag with a little black and white tie on it. I'm just gonna slide this off. Y'all need to leave that alone. I keep getting distracted looking at my computer screen which is behind you guys, or behind the camera. Um, Descendants too. I, I am a huge fan of Disney's Descendants. They released the What's My Name song, which has Uma, which is Ursula's daughter, Gaston's son, Gil, and Harry, who is Hook's son. But Hook's son is Irish somehow. Um, and I am really into Harry. I keep watching it over and over again because. He just, he has guy liner on, of course, and he's a little bit on, looks uh, kind of unhinged, and then he has this really cool rap verse in it. So, I'm like, I might try to insert a clip. I think the rules are with copyright things, you can only use 30 seconds of copyright stuff as a sample before it gets to where you have to actually pay for it. So, if not, I'll just put a picture or something around here. I am going to do the liquid lipstick first, because... I think it's going to be a little bit easier to get off. It, it says, long lasting extreme beauty, matte finish, cruelty free vegan. Tip, exfoliate lips with scrub before use. Avoid food with oil and no making out. Kisses are okay. So, there's the, the color dream house. So, and it is a, like a Barbie pink from the photos. Like this pink. I don't know, this is kind of showing up kind of light compared to what it shows up in real life. There we go. Look at that. It does have the name on the bottom for you guys. I'm sure a lot of people have already watched the whole collection by now, so. Um, I'm just like the ball, like I said. I was on the fence about it for a while but I was like why the heck not now I did see a lot of people were saying that you're supposed to shake it or roll it in your hands for 10 to 15 seconds so I'm going to do that really quick so seconds so it should be nice and rolled out because I mean things products can settle if they've been sent for a while because sometimes like if it's lime crime you'll see the oil and the product separate a little bit all you have to do is just shake it up and it's fine it's like nail polish shake it up ranch dress or dressing not necessarily ranch but dressing is to shake it up so anyway all right this um, there's no seal on it, but it came from the, the fact, like the warehouse, so I'm not that concerned, and there's no like seal that would show that it's been tampered with, so I don't know 
how, like, if you're really sanitary, if that would bother you. Me, I really don't care. But, um, yeah. I don't know if it's the same with the lip ammunition. There's no, like, I would think with, if you're, if they have a tester's out, that's fine. But if you're buying, like, the actual product, I think all makeup should have, like, a little piece of tape or sticker on both ends so you know it has not been tampered with or sealed or something. So. And I read that this was a lot thicker formula. It is pretty thick and pretty chunky it looks like, but that could be the doe foot. So, because it looks like it's one of those ones that's not really quite straight. It has a little bit of a curve um, in that part. So let's swatch it. Boom. I can never swatch in a straight line. And it does dry down to a matte finish. Or it dries to a matte finish. It doesn't necessarily dry down all the way. Ooh, look at that shine. Alright, I gotta find my mirror. Well, it's definitely not transfer proof because I accidentally um, put my hand this way down on my leg and it went like that. And now my um, knee is pink. See if a makeup wipe will get it <laughs> Okay. The makeup wipe is getting it off really well, okay. Cause the um other ones I did with the Smashbox when I did that, I still have stains where they're at. So let me clean this up so you can see where it kind of smeared. So I'm just gonna clean up the edges. It is a really pretty color, and I'm usually not drawn to these hot pinks because I don't think, let me bring you guys down some, maybe, how about that, is that better, yeah, that looks a little better to me, and by the way, this is like, I this is my filming shirt, it's just really loose, baggy, and comfortable, so whatever shirt that I am wearing, I just switch out of it and put this one on. So, more than likely, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be filming in this shirt. So. Because most of the time, I like to sleep in tank tops, and people freak out with the wire. That sometimes makes it a little guest appearance right there. So, I don't like to keep it shown as much, so this kind of hides it a little bit better. Alright, I cleaned it up a little bit, so I didn't take it away or anything like that, but... Alright. Mirror's clean and dry. Let's get to putting this on my lips. Oh. And... Wow. That's gonna be, hopefully, bright. And I'm thinking it's probably gonna take a couple layers. Because even though they say they're used usually one layer of things with this much like glitter and shimmer in it and the thickness of the formula it's gonna need some um uh, probably two layers uh. Say hello to the pigment, Jesus. Okay, so I was right, the, if you can see, the doe foot does have a bit of a curve on the inner part, which really fits your lips very well. Okay, I think 
one coat is probably good enough for me for now. I'm not going out anywhere, so if I was going out, I'd probably do another coat just for good luck, but I'll put that back in. So there's Dream House. It actually isn't like as bright as I thought it was going to be. It actually looks pretty good. I thought it was going to be like one of those bright lipsticks you like you want to wear, but you live in a small town and if you wear anything that's out of the norm, people are going to stare at you type thing, which, but it actually is very pretty pink. I just don't know. Maybe my lighting is not picking up on it as much, but I'm even looking in the mirror and it's just a tad bit brighter in person than it is on film. I think it's dried down to as much as it's going to dry. It kind of... The texture... Like, it doesn't feel like you have anything on, but when you rub your lips together, you can feel it kind of like... rubbing together, and like how I explained it with the Katie Cat Matte lipsticks. It's almost like a peeling type feeling. You know how shirts pill where they get the little um, balls on them from where they're rubbing together? It looks like from the texture that I'm getting on my lips that it might do that. Yeah, because it started already doing it on the inner part of my lip where it like it's kind of wet, so I'm not going to take points off of that part, but okay. so I'm, I'm just looking really close to see if it's splotchy or anything. Um, on Dream House, I would rate it four to five stars. I think the formula is pretty good. It's just that um. When, like I said, when you purse your lips together or anything, it does feel like kind of sticky, like you're, like it's gonna start rolling up, and it doesn't feel like maybe two layers you can build. But if you try to touch up during the day, it's one of those that you just need to take completely off and reapply it instead of just touching it up. You know what I'm saying? So. I like it. I think it is very pretty. I will be wearing this a lot, especially with the summer coming out. Yeah, I like it. So, I wonder if my mom will like it. She's not into this bright of a color, but it, I, she might like the metallic part of it. So, my mom tends to surprise me sometimes. So, I think. This is definitely worth worth the eighteen dollars. So especially for the summer, because I know I've seen the summer collection. I want to get Candy Ass, not for the actual color, because Candy Ass was Orgy, which is my favorite band, first album. Well, they used to be my favorite band when they were actually together. So since they've broken up, I've had to unfortunately move on even though they are near and dear to my heart and I will always love them but I don't know for band bands like people that actually play their own instruments in this moment and disturbed are still like top up there um, things even though you wouldn't think it because you know Disney Frozen all of this so Anyway, definitely, that one is definitely worth the price. So let me see if I can get this off or get as much of it off as I can. It didn't have really any taste or scent to it. Um, so it definitely shouldn't bother anybody. Back to this. This is the Lip Ammunition and Beauty Pageant. When I first saw this, I actually was going to get it. But it was sold out on JeffreeStar.com. And there was another site that had it. 
it wasn't Beautylish, but it was another one. And I didn't know about Beautylish at the time. So, um, let's see. Oh, both of these are... cruelty free and vegan so that's pretty cool of him to do this says extreme pigment orange creamsicle infused highly addicting cruelty free vegan beauty tip can be used alone or with a lip liner our formula has a one swipe coverage we know it smells delicious but these are not edible smiley face so I like it when products do that just give you like a, not necessarily a tip but like if it's got a fragrance or if it's got a flavor or something just to give you a heads up because some people do not like that I personally don't care so as many products as I've tried nothing's bothered me so far the only thing that actually makes my nose like itch is the Cody's airspun powder which I think is just the powder being dry and irritating my nose but it's got a very strong floral scent but yeah all right so as you all know the packaging looks like a little bullet hence the name lip ammunition all of his um, packaging looks like this and I saw a lot of people say that this felt cheap and yeah it's plastic but to me it doesn't feel cheap I mean I it feels pretty good there's the name on the bottom it's nice. It's a good weight. I mean, I think this is pretty cool, and um, I don't know why they would say that unless they're just trying to find things to nag him about. I know some people are saying that the, their caps were loose or they weren't fitting snug, but obviously mine was snug because I had to kind of pull it a second, and it clicks shut. So. Um, I mean, yeah, it's plastic, but I mean, whatever they are. So, the component, as he likes to say, there it comes. Looks like a little red rocket. I will not elaborate on that. But you can see the glitter. So, anyway, I do not think this is cheap or flimsy packaging. I think it's really cool. I like the chrome bit of it. I approve. So, on to the swatching. I'm just gonna take a little bit out. And. Okay. I didn't touch it. I thought I touched it. Now, this is not supposed to be opaque, it's supposed to be sheer. So, I'm not expecting opaque. There we go. Look at that shimmer. So if you want opaque, get that. Dream house. If you want sheer, get beauty pageant. So, and a lot of people said that, well, a lot of people I was reading reviews on different sites, people were saying that it was like balled up and it was dry or crusty and stuff. Mine does not seem to be like that, so maybe they just got a bad batch or the first batch which may have had some like issues, but mine seems perfectly fine. I don't need your help. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking you guys.
I think I got all the water I wanted. You definitely taste that creamsicle taste. It almost, it faintly reminds me of the MAC, at least the foiled lipsticks. It almost has that cookies and cream taste, but that's probably just the cream part of it. So that's that. Like I said, there's no color. It's just a lot of shimmer and glitter. Now when I was applying it, you could feel the glitter and it was kind of rough. And it was like after a couple of swipes, because you kind of, on this one, you have to press down relatively hard. So it kind of hurt applying it. But, I mean, price you have to pay for beauty or whatever. <laughs> now, as hard as I had to press down, I'm very, I, I'm, I'm concerned with using it as a lip topper. I'm concerned that it would take off the lipstick that you have on underneath rather than build onto it. So I do not have any in here with me to test that theory out. I should have thought about that, but you know, I don't. So I just go with the flow. Now when you rub your lips together, it does not feel gritty. Like it feels very light. You don't really feel like you have anything on. The only thing, the only reason why you know you have something on is because you can taste it a little bit. Which, it's not like an overpowering taste. It's very nice, very pleasant. So. And it's fine glitter. So it's not going to be like glitter lips glitter. You know, like where you put gloss on your lips and then you put actual cosmetic grade glitter like a lot of that on your lips it's not going to be like that type of glitter like glitter in your nail type glitter um, these are very fine pieces of glitter so that's why it's more of a shimmer than like noticeable glitter which is what I like so I would rate that one a 5 out of 5 because it works fine um, I'll have to try it over another lipstick, um, maybe. I like it just by itself, personally, because I like that it's, it's the same color as my lips, so it just gives it just a tad bit of, like, color, not much, and just a lot of glitter. So both of these are really good for the summer. I don't know if these were maybe the summer part of the summer collection last year. I don't know. Or if they're part of his regular collection. I have no idea. I can't remember. He has so much makeup, it's hard to keep track. No, it wasn't the summer collection last year because the summer collection had the yellow top, right? On all, in his stuff. But yeah, bad speed pageant. And I really like it, it's very pretty. So, there are the swatches again. Beauty pageant and dream house. I would definitely, four out of five, five out of five would recommend and especially getting up with beauty list free two-day FedEx shipping you can't win lose with that um, especially because I don't know what the shipping is on his site I just know he does have shipping and, on, and a lot of the things I'll spend like $200 online but when it comes to paying shipping I don't want to pay shipping so anyway that is that and I hope you enjoyed this review I hope it was helpful I'm not biased in any way I tried hopefully not to be biased in any way I try to give you an honest review if you wanted this I mean if you have any questions about these two products let me know if there are more Jeffree Star products you want me to try like the skin frost um, I guess I could try them I haven't I wasn't planning on it but if somebody wants me to I will I hear they're blinding, but I mean I have a lot of highlighters or not a lot, but I have enough. But if somebody wants me to review one of those, I will be happy to. Or the um, eyeshadow palettes, if need be. So just.
comment below. Um, and like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Don't just thumbs it down because it's Jeffree Star, okay? He apologized. He's apologized on Snapchat and Twitter before. And he actually has made a whole YouTube video regarding it now. So, I mean, the issue has been resolved. I mean, it has been discussed. It was in his past years and years ago. People need to move on. A lot of people do stupid things when they're young. Me included, okay?